Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. So if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Lacey and I make videos all about what God is doing in my life on a daily basis. I knew that I was changing and I knew I could look back years down the road and know that I was a different person, but I couldn't really pinpoint what was going on and how God was actually changing me. So I decided to do this social experiment for a year and document what God was doing in my life, document how I was changing and how I didn't live this 24 hours for no reason. And I wanted to document what God was doing. So we meet in the car again. I was so exhausted from yesterday that I just couldn't think straight and I just needed to sleep. Now, my husband snored all night long. Do you all feel me? Does this happen to you? And I didn't get that much sleep. But as I was driving today um, to take my son to piano lessons this morning, I really had some clarity about what God was speaking to me yesterday about. So on to the message. So the reason yesterday was a little bit difficult for me was the fact that we homeschool our son. It wasn't a bad day like he did anything bad. It was more like what we were learning about was really intense. So the day before I had taught him all about the Holocaust, we're doing this um, unit in history all about World War II. I was explaining to him different things about the Holocaust and different things that happened and why. And we had kind of been building up onto this, the actual Holocaust and learning a lot about the military leaders of that time. As I was talking to him, we have a lot of conversations, I guess you could say, in our teaching. And so we were talking and I was explaining to him kind of like what happened in the Holocaust and kind of like the genocide that went on. And you could see just like tears in his eyes. And it was so hard to push through that. And then yesterday I had to teach him kind of about what happened here in the United States during World War II and like how, sorry, I got a phone call, mom life, right? I was really thankful that I was the one teaching him about this like injustice in the world. But it did make me think, um, he said some things like, mom, that wasn't that long ago. Mom, this, like, I can't believe this really happened. And I was like, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. I was really glad that I was the one telling him so he could have kind of this a little bit emotional moment because I was thinking how you learn it in school and you're even if you're like emotional about it which you should be like this is a terrible thing that happened in history you can't really be emotional in front of like 30 other kids especially at the age where you're able to learn about these types of things right so the next day we were learning about um, what happened in the US during this time and we were learning about internment camps like Japanese internment camps that were here in the United States I think the Japanese internment camps kind of got to me more than They got to him just because I felt like it was unnecessary and Then as always when you look at history you have to look at an open mind about things and why people made the decisions that they made and I think sometimes we have to give people the benefit of the doubt is we they made the best decision that they could at the time they were making it um, I don't think anybody makes a decision and goes you know what? I'm gonna make this wrong decision you know you always think that your decisions are right at that point in time and looking at these terrible injustice in the world I was just compelled even more to just pray and have so much hope. The injustice of it just really hit me really hard. And I didn't know what to do with it in my brain because I think in the recent year, we've seen a lot of injustice in the world and a lot of it has come to light per se. There's this verse that always comforts me and it talks about that Jesus has overcome the world. And I'll put the verse up here. And it's sad, I think, that we have to live away from our creator and we have to live like this and that there is like evil and injustice in the world. But I don't think that we can cover it up. And I think it's good to keep having these conversations. And if you don't talk about it, nothing will ever change. If you don't let people know that this really bad thing happened and this is why and really pull at them emotionally and let them feel the injustice, 
they're not gonna change. They're not gonna be different people. And so last night when I was praying, I was just praying for hope. I was praying for this broken world. I think in these times where you feel like you have injustice and you don't know what to do about it, or you just see these sins of the past, I think you really have to go to God even harder and let him know that, you know, thank you. Thank you so much that you have overcome the world because this does not make any sense. He really is the only hope. I think I'm not afraid of the injustice that's out there. I think my soul just more mourns for it because I have Jesus and I know where I'm going. I'm not afraid of tomorrow or afraid of what's gonna happen, but I am sad for the evil that's in the world. And I truly hope that we can keep opening our eyes to Jesus and seeing that we don't have to live like this. We don't have to have injustice in the world. We can truly be happy and we can truly have hope. I pray that as you go to your pillow tonight, that you understand the hope of Jesus and that that's all we have. We only have this hope. Bad things happen in the world, but Jesus has overcome the world. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. I hope that this made sense because, oh, it's just been on my heart and I've just been carrying it around. And I'm hoping that my minuscule part in the world will be changed to something good because we were able to have these conversations. I will see you guys in another brand new video. Bye for now.